Mandarake Complex. If there is one store in Akihabara that you must visit as a fan of video games, manga, anime, or Gundam, it is this eight-story shop filled with treasures both old and new, cheap and expensive, common and rare. And with permission from the store, I have the privilege today of guiding you through one of my favorite stores, showing you some of the cool Gundam stuff they've got, and also showing you why you should visit some of the floors that you might have otherwise skipped. Because believe me, even though the Gundam stuff is mostly concentrated on one floor, if you look closely enough, you can potentially find some Gundam on every floor. So let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Floor 1 is probably where you'll spend the least amount of time, but it is still worth keeping your eyes open here. It does consist mostly of the buyback counter, which I don't think you'll be using as a tourist because you're there to buy more Japanese stuff, not to sell it. Then there's a tax-free counter, which you will want to use, and then we've got two extremes. On the inside, there's expensive vintage pop culture stuff, and on the outside, there's cheap sale items. Depending on the weather, of course. From my experience, you won't find too much Gundam here, but it never hurts to give the things a quick glance. And I can say the exact same thing for the second floor which on the sign outside of the building is marked with a question mark. Personally, this gives me a pretty sketchy vibe, but fear not. The subject matter of this floor is very well defined. We have Maho Shoujo or Magical Girls, Dolls and Cosplay. So clearly as your average Gundam fan, there's nothing to see here. But hold your horses. Other than the fact that you might find a cool Gundam cosplay here, you can actually find some other things there as well. To my great surprise, they had a Kigali doll in stock. And to be honest, I actually came to the store the day before so that I could scope things out a bit and look at the things that I definitely had to get on camera. And I either missed this or they just got her in stock. And that's one of the things that I love about this store. Thanks to a combination of having so many things and having a constantly moving stock, you'll find new things here every time you visit. So let's have a look at the third floor, the manga floor. One of the most self-explanatory floors of the whole building. There's old manga, brand new manga, and everything in between with, of course, a dedicated Gundam section. And in case you can't find the manga that you're looking for, don't hesitate to ask the staff for help. Show them the title, a clear image, or the Mandarake product page of the manga or other thing you're looking for, and they'll help you find it. Or if you can't read Japanese, this is also the floor where you'll find art books, again, with a dedicated Gundam section, magazines, LPs, animation cells, and even board games, something that you wouldn't expect here. And also a case filled with various collector items. Moving up one floor, then we get to the spiciest one. There's male-oriented doujin and goods here, 18 plus manga, 18 plus video games, and everything else of the sort. And yes, they have exactly the kind of Gundam stuff here that you're thinking of. And yes, they also have everything else that you're thinking about. But I can only show you a very small portion because this is YouTube. So clearly, if you're not interested in 18 plus Gundam items or any other 18 plus stuff, this is clearly a floor you can skip, right? No. Contrary to popular belief, doujins aren't just hentai. Heck, the doujin scene isn't even just books. And that's why this floor is called the doujin floor and not straight up the porn floor. When you enter, you'll first see a section, however small, of doujin suited for the general public. And when it comes to Gundam, 
There are actually a lot of those out there and some really good ones. Ask me how I know. So if nothing else, it's totally worth to quickly hop onto this floor to see if they've got some cool indie Gundam books here. And their Dojin music CD selection is also nothing to sneeze at. And the fifth floor is another floor that you might think you'd want to skip. Again, for reasons that sound obvious. After the male-oriented Dojin floor, we get to the female-oriented Dojin floor which also has a lot of male idol items. So I went in there for you, dear viewer, to confirm that yes, they do have Gundam boys love in here. Char X Garma, Char X Omro, Build Fighters, Shido X Yamagi, and SD Gundam. That's where I draw the line. But they have more. So much more. For fans of Clamp, you'll find a lot of stuff here, and also just regular stuff. Like, I remember that I once saw a Pokemon art book here. Or even crazier, this. How is this female-oriented doujin stuff? Like I said, I really sacrificed myself here by exploring every nook and cranny of this floor, and ironically enough, going in here is kind of the opposite of the male doujin floor. That one eases you in with standard doujin, and then gets to the other stuff, whereas the female doujin floor is immediately up in your face with the male idols, and then hides the real hidden gems in the back. And talking about hidden gems, the sixth floor. Regular CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray, VHSs, laser discs, and all kinds of video games and the consoles required to play them. They have some Gundam DVD and Blu-ray highlights in the back, but you will also find others scattered throughout the floor. But of course, what I think will be the main attraction for most people will be the video games. Gundam video games. It might be a bit difficult to look for Gundam games without knowing Japanese, but here's a Kakarot Pro tip to make the hunt a bit easier. In Mandarake and many other stores too, the games are listed alphabetically according to the Japanese alphabet, and they'll usually have separator cards to tell you where each letter begins. So look out for this hiragana symbol that's on screen right now, which is where most of the Gundam games are. The only other thing then to keep in mind are the region locks that unfortunately many old consoles have. But again, they do also have those here. Oh, and they also have a handful of video game magazines and some rare and expensive stuff that's just fun to gawk at. The seventh floor then might lead to some disappointment if you don't know what the eighth floor is all about. Because on the seventh floor, you'll see that on the plaque outside, they have toys. So that must mean that the Gundam action figures are right here, right? No, on this floor, you'll find everything except for that. It specializes in cards, cars, railroads, and tokusatsu. So your Ultramans, Kamen Riders, and Super Sentai slash Power Rangers. But in addition to those, you'll also find a healthy selection of regular figures and all kinds of non-Gundam model kits. Regular cars, Formula One cars, airplanes, military, and of course, girls in Panzer. The Gundam related things that you will find on this floor then are in the card section. You'll find just about anything here from trading cards, to collectible cards found in wafers, to telephone cards, to I guess even books about them, because this here is a Gundam World stamp book. Featuring rarely seen official artwork with the RX-78 II sporting a yellow V-fin. And they also had this small section of Gundam art books here for some reason. And then finally, we get to the eighth floor. 
the final boss for your wallet. Because here we have the deadly combo of mechs, robots and bishoujo figures along with a nice scattering of prize figures. From dirt cheap to ridiculously expensive, you'll find Gundam model kits here, robot spirits figures, metal builds, mobile suit in action, fixed post figures and a lot of things you didn't even know existed but that you now totally need, prize be damned. And when you're done getting over that crisis, you've still got everything else on this floor. Zoids, Vodoms, Tekkaman Blade, Macross, One Piece, American Pop Culture because why not, Kotobukiya kits, a huge amount of fixed post figures and the list goes on. Mandarake Complex might not have the most impressive collection of a single genre, but everything combined makes for one of the most impressive and financially deadly stores that any anime fan can visit and you can be almost certain that you will find something. And even if you don't plan on buying something, it is still totally worth going there for window shopping. Be advised that even if you go there with a plan of only window shopping, it might end a bit differently than planned. So that about wraps up today's video. A big thanks to Mandarake for allowing me to film there, another big thanks to the Patreon supporters, and I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all next time.